Nice high kick by Owen Park. Nice catch, and then a, a nice kick to the face from Owen Carr. Very quick pace for both of these fighters. And Owen Carr able to come out on top of butterfly grip, or sorry, a butterfly guard in here for Ryan Connor. And you're going to look to try any time that Owen Carr looks to rotate or pass, Ryan Connor is going to launch that butterfly grip up or butterfly guard up and try and come through. Big swing and a miss from Owen Carr. Carr on top of Connor, as you mentioned, in the butterfly guard. Now transitioning to a more traditional guard. Still got the one leg in. Carr trying to swarm out a punch but quickly gathered up again by Ryan Connor. Yeah, Ryan Connor's doing an excellent job of neutralizing the offense of Owen Carr. Now Owen Carr is grinding his head and he's getting a warning from the official. That's again what we talked about, that, uh, that urgency that Owen Carr has, that he wants to do everything he can to damage his opponent. Carr on top of Connor, continuing to look for an opening. Connor again, very effective in this guard of not allowing Carr to fire really any offense at this point beyond a punch or two. But so far, Ryan Connor doing a good job of limiting the damage, but you can't just limit the damage, Jeremy. Being on top is valuable in the judge's eyes. Well, and especially if you can spend three minutes and 20 seconds, which is what's remaining in this round on top, but it looks like Ryan Connor able to create some space, but uh, Owen Carr again right back on top of him and keeping the pressure down. And now we see an attempt at a submission there. Owen Carr was able to catch that one. Oh, that was a kick normally reserved for uh, when you let your opponent up, but that's another takedown by Owen Carr. Yeah, another takedown there, trying to time that kick and catch Connor coming up off the mat, but uh, Carr missing his target on that one. Two Not minutes and 45 seconds remaining in this first round of three professional rounds. And again, you see Owen Carr in this top position. And Ryan Connor really has to have a solution for the swarming attack of Owen Carr because as every time he swarms him and he gets in tight, Owen Carr is able to secure a takedown. And now he has a top position guillotine. He doesn't have it locked in tight, but it is a dangerous position that Ryan Connor has to deal with. Owen Carr continuing to work from the top. Again, just grinding his opponent down, staying tenacious. And Jeremy, it really looks like he's working this ground position. Connor trying to kind of take that leg out, take away any of the leverage he might have. Well, anything that you can do to limit the damage that your opponent lands, but these are very damaging elbows. And again, you hear the crowds crying for up, and you got to watch those elbows because they're locating right near the back of the head of Ryan Connor, and that's the one place that you are not allowed to land an elbow. Nice elbow there. And again, Connor trying to pop out the back here of Owen Carr. And now Carr landing a hammer fist to the side. Connor in a dangerous position there for hammer fist, but Owen Carr kind of off balance, not really able to drop a lot of weight there. Well, you, you talk about the, the strategies. Owen Carr, it's, it's not a very conventional position that he's in, but what he is doing is, first off, now he's isolating an arm, but secondly, what he's doing is he's making Ryan Connor carry his weight. And if you're carrying the weight of your opponent for the entirety of a round, it's going to tire you out. It slows you down. And that just is an advantage for Owen Carr. Big shots being landed now by Owen Carr. Referee right on top of the action. Ryan Connor still defending intelligently, trying to come through and maybe attack a single leg there just to stem the tide that Owen Carr is laying down right on his face. Yeah, again, 40 seconds left in the very first round of three. And uh, Owen Carr doing a lot of damage here in the late stages of round one since this second takedown. Ryan Connor hasn't had much in the way of defense. Unlike the earlier position where he was limiting the damage from Owen Carr, this time Owen Carr doing a very good job of landing elbows, landing punches from unorthodox places and uh, doing a good job of getting him done. It's also, it's always important to keep busy and Owen Carr has kept busy the entire first round. This round's gonna look very good in the eyes of the judges. Owen Carr trying to finish this one here, which is short time remaining, trying to get the referee to step in. 
but the time is going to come right there and Ryan Connor is going to survive this opening round onslaught and you can see again Owen Carr right on top of his opponent. And uh, these two fighters, a dominant round one performance from Owen Carr. Ryan Connor going to have to uh, change up the game plan. Can't really do much on the ground, but it looks, Jeremy, like he wants to go for the takedown right away. Well, if he can end up in top position, he can do what Owen Carr did to him in round one, which is just lay on top, and obviously do some damage with some striking, but make your opponent carry your weight, tire him out. Now landing some knees to the inside thighs. Owen Carr with holding onto this guillotine, not trying to finish it, but more trying to just stop and make Ryan Connor think about, you know, if you take me down, you're going to be in a bad position. Connor trying to pop out, trying to work towards the back of Owen Carr. Eventually now does get him to the ground, but winds up in the full guard and now pops his head out of that guillotine position. But some big elbows coming from Carr from the bottom. Well, and Carr, and one of those guys who does not stop even if he's on the bottom. So you'll see a lot of elbows being thrown. He's going to be very aggressive. The danger in throwing an elbow like that is because your opponent couldn't isolate an arm. So Owen Carr, a veteran here in the Hard Knocks cage, he's going to make sure that uh, he's being safe if he's going to throw these elbows. So on top now is Ryan Connor, but Owen Carr landing the better part of the damage here in round two from the bottom with those elbows. Connor hasn't really landed much since securing this position, but as a guy who's won all of his five fights by submission, it could come any time where Carr is, is punching or throwing elbows and finds himself submitted. Ryan Carr moves forward, trying to get to a good position, trying to posture up, but every time he does, he's eating an elbow or a, a back fist from Owen Carr. So Owen Carr uh, doing an excellent job defending by being offensive in this fight. And now you see Ryan Carr pull out of the position because he doesn't want to be there. It gets the side control, and, but eats an up kick for his, for his measure. Yeah, that's the second up kick that Carr has landed here. Last time he used it to transition into a position on top on the ground. But this time it's Connor continuing to hold that superior position inside control now. Although the one arm is a little trapped underneath the head of Owen Carr. No danger of a choke here yet. But Connor again looking to advance the position, looking to find a home. And you can see the blood pouring from the side Watch of his out, head. Watch out, the anaconda the choke elbow. is there. The anaconda choke is, is up. It's a, it's a position where you're basically now on top with that same choke position. And this is a little bit of danger. Now the grip is released, so the danger is at least gone for the moment. But Ryan Connor swarming on top was being sneaky. He was eating a few punches to try and secure himself a choke. And you could see the side of Ryan Connor's face is leaking pretty heavily. So again, another elbow from the bottom, but Connor remains on top. And this often, Jeremy, I find is a, is a troublesome position for judges because they, they often reward position over, over uh, work. And I, I'd suggest that since this fight got to this position, Owen Carr has definitely been the busier fighter, landing more damage, but still the position belongs to Ryan O'Connor and the judges are normally quick to reward that. And another up kick, and Owen Carr has to watch out because that yeah. was down, and, and Ryan Connor has a point here. That's the second time that he's been kicked on the in the head or in the face while he's actually a downed opponent. He got a, a heel in the side of the head earlier on that when he was down, and the referee didn't see it. That time, he saw it. Many times, you'll see fights will be stopped, and then they'll get back standing, and you'll take away the advantage that Ryan Connor had it being on top. And uh, now we see some good punches. That's a good first punch landed by Ryan Connor to do some damage to Owen Carr. Now a triangle position. This is very dangerous. Ryan Connor must deal with this, or Owen Carr is going to lock it in. The one knee is not as far back on the neck as you would like, and now it's really tightened in here. Ryan Connor could be in trouble. Owen Carr with a triangle. Connor trying to roll out of it, but is unable to do so so far. And now from a top position, trying to work that triangle. Connor flipping out of it, doing a good job of surviving. And here's some congratulations from the fans. Well, and now a guillotine being thrown on by by Owen Carr, and he's trying to put the pressure down, attacking the legs. 
is Ryan Connor, but from one submission to another, and he's able to get free. And I think Ryan Connor got some extra fans when that illegal kick to the head happened. So again, now trying to stack up as Owen Carr looks to find an armbar submission. Three submission attempts since restarting this fight just 45 seconds ago. The continuity of Owen Carr is excellent. He's going from one technique to another, and every time his opponent stops a technique, he opens himself up for another. And what Owen Carr is doing here is, even if he got a, a point dock from him, he could technically still have an advantage because if he wins this round, this round would be considered the draw as the 9-9, and he still has a lead. But Ryan Connor needs to find some way to get, mount an offense against Owen Carr. And uh, Ryan Connor calls from some applause from the fans, but turns down the opportunity to touch gloves with Owen Carr. Well, sometimes when you a guy kicks you in the face illegally, you don't necessarily want to uh, touch gloves. And Ryan Connor right now has to feel that he's trailing this fight, even though Owen Carr had the point taken away. So he must be offensive. He must win this round to force a draw. And uh, so far, so good as Ryan Connor pushing Owen Carr up against the cage. Connor driving forward, trying to find a hole in the defense of Owen Carr, which has been very good to this point, Jeremy, of keeping Ryan Connor from doing much damage. Again, Connor five submission wins as a professional, and his two losses coming by a decision. Good single leg takedown there. He is in top position. Watch that foot in the in the hip of Ryan Connor, but Ryan Connor able to push through that. Now what Ryan Connor needs to do is he needs to get an offense going. He cannot let Owen Carr dictate the bottom. But for Owen Carr, he has to watch out that uh, the dangerous submission game. He has to stay busy because he doesn't want to be in this position. However, he can uh, he has to be careful about the submissions that Ryan Connor offers. Another elbow from the bottom as Ryan Carr looks to find an arm for an arm bar. Might have, it does have one arm isolated. It's whether or not he can stretch it out or whether Connor can get it free. Connor does get it free now, and he is on top of Owen Carr, where he spent the majority of the last now two rounds, but. Owen Carr, the busier of the two fighters, like you mentioned, Ryan, the more uh, causing more damage of the two fighters. Reminds me back of a, a fight early in Hard Knocks between uh, Keegan Oliver and his opponent Kennedy. Uh, who, uh, Oliver was on top. Kennedy was the busier fighter, and Oliver won the fight. Uh, Oliver won the fight by decision, uh, just purely for having the better position. We'll see if that duplicates itself here tonight with Ryan O'Connor and Owen Carr. Again, looking for a triangle. Carr fires it on big elbow, coming to try and soften him up, maybe try and find that arm isolated, but is unable to do so. And again, good defense from Ryan Connor. Ryan Connor now trying to get to work, trying to get some offense. He has half a round to try and erase in the minds the position of the of Owen Carr for, for doing so much damage from the back. He's doing well here as he's isolating an arm. An arm is now trapped underneath the leg, but he, equally it pops up just as quickly as it was put underneath there. Again, Carr trying to find an opening, trying to find an escape, but may have given up his back here. Jeremy rolled into Ryan Connor, who immediately throws on the body triangle and is going to try and spin in and get the back. Owen Carr, though, doing a nice job of getting away from it, but may have an arm in here. Ryan Connor looking for the arm bar. Owen Carr trying to dig out of it. He's got his other arm locked across it. It's just whether or not he can stretch him out. And you look at the face of Owen Carr. He's in a lot of pain here. There's a lot of pressure being put on there, trying to put his mind somewhere else. Nice deep breaths. Ryan Connor still working, has both the arms in there. So at any time, if Owen Carr pulls one of the arms out, he's gonna be in a lot of danger. So even though there's a lot of pain here for Owen Carr, he knows he has to keep both his arms in or he's in trouble. Minute 23 to go. Ryan Connor has Owen Carr's arms in an armbar position. The pain relieving Jeremy. You can see a little more of the forearm from Owen Carr has come out. The top of his arm has come out, so maybe not as much pressure as you might think. Some knees now to the back of Ryan Connor trying to loosen that grip, loosen that out, or loosen that position and allow his arm to be free. Still pressuring down. 
But look at Owen, Owen Carr landing from really strange positions, still landing from the side, dropping those knees to the side of Ryan Connor. And for Connor, it's almost like he has to give up this position to try and find a new one to, to be able to pull out the fight. But if Owen Carr can stay busy like this, it's, it's really going to be one of those things. It's going to be a very interesting decision for the judges. The pain evident on the face of Owen Carr from this angle as he tries desperately to free his arms from an armbar position. One is now out and the other one now not in danger of that armbar as now he will drop elbows and try and put an emphasis on this fight with just 10 seconds to go in the third and final round. Trying to maybe find an arm submission of his own. No, just opening him up and trying to find a damage punches and elbows. What a fight between Owen Carr and Ryan Connor.